In this video you learn how to create the solar system as it was known 400 years ago. For this you will use Python and Piglet and get an insight in graphics and motion. Welcome to Pisa, Italy. The year is 1608 and the man who is looking at the sky is Galileo Galilei, the famous scientist. His friends call him Leo. Leo notices that the bodies he observes are regular visitors of the skies. He just received a mathematical device that he calls a computer and decides to draw the picture of the skies. For this he will use Python and Piglet. This video is part 1 of his series. In this part you learn how to install Piglet, create a window and put circles on the screen. Let's go! Leo starts by creating a virtual environment. He then activates it and pip installs Piglet. He creates a single script that will hold all the code. Now that the virtual environment is activated and Piglet is installed, Leo can create the code to show a window. In order to create and show a window, Leo must make two imports. He then subclasses window. The renderer class will hold all the logic that is needed to draw the solar system. The first thing Leo needs to do is to overwrite dunder init, call super and pass the screen size and window title. Leo implements the draw method that will be called by Piglet whenever a frame is requested. At this moment the draw method only clears the screen which will make it black. All is needed now is to create a renderer and start the game loop. And that is the minimum code Leo needs to draw a black window. He executes the code. And that works. Leo created a piglet window with a black background. It's time to add some celestial bodies. Leo starts by making a circle for the sun. For this he needs to import circle. And add the sun to the draw method. What does this look like? The sun appears on the screen, but it needs to be yellow. The colors in Piglet are specified as a tuple of red, green and blue values, but Leo wants to specify colors in hex format, so he creates a function to convert colors. And uses the function. Leo checks the result. The sun is now yellow. Leo adds the planets. And adds them to the drawing method. He tests the program. Very nice. Leo now created a piglet window with four celestial bodies. The Sun, Venus, Mars and Jupiter. These were the known objects in the sky 400 years ago. But he knows that this picture is not complete. The Earth is missing. But where can he draw Earth? For this, Leo needs to draw the solar system as seen from afar. He reads a book from Copernicus. Copernicus wrote that the Sun is the center of the solar system and Leo agrees with this. The book lists the distances from the planets to the Sun. He decides to rearrange some things. This will put the Sun in the center and Earth will be added. 
The first thing Leo does is to put the sun in the center of the screen. Leo needs to add the Earth and decides to put all the planets in a list. He rewrites some code. But now Leo has a question. Does he need to iterate the list to draw the planets? Actually, there is a much better way to draw the objects. Piglet provides a batch object that allows graphic cards to draw things much more efficiently. For this, he needs to import batch. And create a batch object. Leo can now add each circle object to the batch like this. This way the draw method only needs to draw the batch. Leo wants to know if everything still works. Yes, this is how the solar system must be observed from out of space. Leo is happy with the results. The Sun is in the center, followed by Venus, Earth, Mars and Jupiter. But he knows that the planets turn around the Sun. He reads more in the book and learns how the planets revolve around the Sun. The book even lists the planets' orbit speeds and Leo decides to add motion to the system. And to see how that works, click on the screen right now and we'll see each other in the next video.